hyperspectral takes that range, say the same range maybe from um, blue to um, close to thermal, and it breaks it up instead of five or six or 10 bands, but it breaks it up into 200 plus bands. So we're getting super, super thin portions of that, which that's the kind of imaging that allows us to go down to species level truly, and it allows us to go down to um, even penetrate through the water column to some extent with some of these hyperspectrals. Or um, it allows allows geologists, if they were to use the technology, to, to dr drill down into mineral 